Thursday, May 3rd, 2012. I was sitting at my desk around 11 o'clock at night. I'd been working on the property between the both buildings and had just returned from the post office, mailing a filing on the federal lawsuit. I was sitting here to send an email out to follow up on that when I heard the door open downstairs. I thought it was Mandy coming in. I'd just been downstairs talking to her. I was going to head back down if she didn't come up. Within a couple seconds, I looked over and I saw a ski mask coming up between the two beams. Within a second or two, he looked over this way and said, Hey, Ben, smiling as if I'd known him for years. About six foot one to six three, ski mask, black shotgun, the shortest length legal without a pistol grip. Black sweater or sweatshirt, black pants, not jeans, more like work pants, all in black. Behind him was a man with a pistol, large caliber, again all black, with a ski mask, dressed dark also. He turned the corner and pointed the shotgun at me. He said, it's cool. They said, where is it? I said, what? They said, the money. We want the money. I said, I'll take you to it. I stood up. Walked over like this. They started backing up. The whole time, the second guy was sh shielded halfway by the first guy's body. He stood two and a half to three feet behind at all times so that if you would have rushed the first guy, you wouldn't have got the second guy. And he always held his hand up like this. And he kept going like that, reminding you that he had the gun. At one time, he pulled back a gun. It went like that with a knife, a little jabby kind of motion. The shotgun guy just kept steady on me. Now, what he had done when he walked over here at first, he came over, and he grabbed my phone and threw it away. And he had the shotgun right at my head there. That's when I said, I'll take you to the money. I'll show you where it's at. I walked over here. I said, I'm going to get that flashlight right here. I reached up and grabbed the flashlight. I said, I'm going to show you where the money is. I followed him back. At this point, the guy behind, who was off to the right shoulder, seamlessly, who, by the way, never made a sound, seamlessly moved from his right shoulder over to his left shoulder and off that side, still reaching up with the gun, maybe left-handed at that time, over his shoulder, but I don't know for sure. I turned the flashlight on as I walked back. I walked very slowly back here. The light was off, but I'll turn it on so you can see better. I shone the flashlight over here. Came back, both of them came in the room, the shotgun guy in the front, pistol guy again, now off to the right, pointing the pistol at me. I reached down, I said, I'm gonna open this door. I opened the door. I said, it's right there. I'm going to get the money. I got the money. Tried to hand him the money. He tried to take it. Or at first he reached out, but he said, show it to me. And I opened it up, showed him the envelope. He said, give it. To he didn't say give it to me. Then he reached out and grabbed it. Fifty bucks fell out of the stack, and he reached down and grabbed that. I showed him the flashlight up in his face. He said, get that fucking light out of my face. I said, throw it over there. I threw it over there. He said, get in the crawl space. I got in the space there. Closed the door. He said, you open that door, I'll fucking kill you. I waited a couple seconds. Heard rustling. Heard what sounded like them going down the stairs. And came out. Grabbed that phone over there. Because the other phone had been cut. I saw the phone was cut there. So I went back and grabbed that phone. And came out running after him. Chasing out. And I yelled. Screamed. I'll get you! That was their time. They had to drop on me. There was nothing to do. But from now on, it's our time, yours and mine, to find these guys 
and put a stop to them. We wrap them up into a nice little package and drop them off at the police station for 10 to 20 years. Daddy Justice, grateful to be alive. Grateful to all of you who have reached out to me in the last day or two. Thank you. Thank you for the love and for the appreciation for the, another day that I've got. And thank you for those who have already called me with information and for those who will continue to call me with information. And thank you, God, for always keeping an eye out and making, uh, making a path somehow for me to continue against such insurmountable odds. Yeah. Daddy Justice. Signing off. Right back at it.